Crusader Kings Friends and Foes is out with a lot of new events and it's time to go and dive into another unconventional journey. We're gonna go for a very special small high chiefdom. And small is something good because we think that small is indeed beautiful. We're gonna go for this interesting realm with High Chieftain Bajorus of Prussia. Bajorus is actually a name that means leader and warrior. So um, this is the Chieftain of the Wilkes. We believe in fidelity without malice. Only two living members. So it's a true start. We have uh, Vidalism, a very interesting unreformed Baltic faith. So, this is us. Vidalism is a very small faith, and this uh, adds to small is beautiful. So we have a little bit of Vidalism here, but that's suppressed. And official Vidalism is here, and you can see that we have many holy sites here. That are outside of our control. So we want to, we want to survive. May the trees be our shelter. Why the trees? Well, you, if you zoom in, you can see the white trees of the winter. Yeah, let's actually go for terrain. So you can see how beautifully green everything is. And that's all true also for the religion. Um, the religion is based a lot on, indeed, forests and uh, the gods there are forest gods. They are a mixture of the new Romuva faith, that's a new Baltic paganism that's getting popularity right now, and old Lithuanian faiths with a with a deep and uh, interesting pantheon. Like the supreme god is called Dievas. Dievas is um, a supreme god. He can according to the old faith, transform himself into all beings in and out of nature um, that surround us in all beings in the sky even. The god of the sky, wealth, ruler of gods, creator of the universe, and below him are really a, a lot of smaller gods that are but, but basically all um, avatars of himself in a special, in a special way. And this high chieftain Bajorus of Prussia believes in that. He's also Prussian. That is not the new Prussian German. That is actually something very Baltic. Something that is also connected to the Polans that, that are um, in, the, in the vicinity here and the Lithuanians that are also connected here. So that's, that's all one cultural circle. So it's a mixture of a rather organized belief and a very, very deep natural belief, like you would find in uh, forest tribes of the Amazon or, or something like that in Brazil. So it's very nature bound. We're going to have a look at that because it will be very, very important because we believe that everything should be like the branches of an oak. Many and plentiful there should be. So the twist is we only want a kingdom, maybe a Vidalist kingdom, and not more under our control. Maybe shortly to reform the faith, we want to control kind of some holy sites, but not for more. We want to break up really, really big empires because we think it's against the order of natures to have such gigantic things there. They are an emanation of evil and of, yeah, the, the too big influence of humans over nature. It is a sin too, dear Bath. It protects us in the forest. So what do we want to do to reach this goal? We want alliances. We want, um, very practically, now at the start, we want to have a successor of our own blood. We're starting even as a holy warrior, so we might attack other, other faiths for the time being, because that's the other thing. We want to roleplay, and we will roleplay 
like mostly after the character of course we have oh uh, like the goals of the realm if, if you want to say like that but we also have our personality so a warrior will try to fulfill his goals with war and a spy will try to get uh, the better of his opponents with spying or try to make alliances with that and um, we'll treat every every being of our dynasty like their nature because we're all about nature this the symbol of vitalism is actually most think it's an oak and there's also some emanations of Devas that are actually oak gods and there's the typical um, hazelnut groves that were made here and that are believed to be like the homestead of the gods and of course they give you nuts <laughs> so that is how we will play we'll respect uh, the character of our of our rulers and play them accordingly and we'll try to give our children an education uh, that reflects their nature so we'll actually wait a bit until we can see their traits and then and to do this we will also not expand so we don't do not only want to break down big empires we also do not want to become a big empire the most we want to become is uh, seen here um, proclaim the terra mariana so the kingdom of Livonia would be what we would become. So that is the biggest that we want to become, a kingdom to call our own. And based on that kingdom, we want to make alliances and so on. And we want to keep everything, the many branches of an oak. We don't want a big empire of the Mongols. We don't want something like this or maybe this to dominate a whole region. We will do our utmost inside of our possibilities to to break big very big empires down that is why we also chose to have a harbor so in time we might make expeditions too um, who are our potential allies that us easily seen here it's basically the Vidalist countries, they are easily convinced. So we have Yatvagi, we have Samogetia, we have Koronia, and we have Lithuania. And I think there is also not Shell, no, not so much, but there's something like distributed. There's single, um, single lands here that still follow Vidalism, I believe. For example, here and, uh, so that's what we what we want to maybe integrate into our kingdom because here you can see we do we do need to control the duchy of latgalians well that's up here the high chiefdom of coronia well that's coronia and the high chiefdom of livonia and that's up there so we need to gain some land, but not at the start. Like that's not the goal. So what is what is it that we'll do? We will try to control currently more holdings personally. I mean, we currently control two. Maybe if we get a wife, we will get three and then we'll try to take them probably by war as we're a warrior. Um, a successor might get something else. We don't have a royal court yet because, of course, we only have a duchy-like title, but we'll come to that, definitely. So may the trees be our shelter. May the trees be our shelter because we alone will not be able to do it. We need the help from the gods. We are a holy warrior and we will need all that we, we can muster to even survive at the start. Our player heir here, he also has only one realm here and yeah, there's this guy as you can see, that's our spy master. 
and he has five holdings, so he's extremely powerful. He's only a chieftain though, so but we have to really be really be careful. We want to appease him and uh, if needs be, we need to fight. But before, let's choose a lifestyle and we'll go for the martial lifestyle. Let's focus on the control of our realm, honorable conduct and the strategies that will win us wars. Um, we already have a couple of gallant perks, which is absolutely good for us because um, small is beautiful and as long as you have a small empire realm rather you have personally a big influence and everyone's important which is why a chivalry focus is actually a very good thing we will have more prowess we will have more attraction opinion and we will have an advantage if it comes to a fight that is us knight of vitalism as you can see, we have a couple of tenets for Vidalism. Ancestor worship, similar to the Vikings. We can, uh, we believe that our ancestor watch over us from beyond the grave, guiding us and showing us the way forward. For this, we must respect and honor them. It's a typical um, belief of uh, nature-bound people. As is the sanctity of nature, building construction coast goes up because we're extra careful. And we probably plant a tree for every building. Um, and popular opinion goes up by five. We have advantages in jungle, forest, and tiger. We have a lot of forest around, so the attrition taken is also lower. Then we have Kudikis Lemte. Mothers are less likely to die in childbirth, and children are less likely to be sickly or stillborn. Mothers and fathers gain piety when their child is born, so we'll have a lot of piety at our disposal if we get a lot of kids. Makes pregnant a virtue. Widowist opinion plus 10 and piety plus 1 per month. All widowists have 10% more fertility. It's also something typically um, nature paganism. The bathhouses where mothers give birth must be cleansed and prepared with the proper rituals and in order to encourage the divine to grant us their blessing during childbirth. They're generally male dominated, righteous. So other faiths, we have no really good opinion. And theocratic temple holdings are leased out to their holders realm priest who then serves them as a theocratic vassal which means we will have to cater to them and then only they will give us money if they have some income as you can see marriage type is concubines too so one spouse three concubines we can divorce ourselves cousin marriage is allowed Bastards can be legitimized. Uh, Same-sex relations are shunned, but not criminal. Divinity is criminal. Male adultery is criminal. Female adultery too. Close kin slaying is criminal. So uh, cousins are, <laughs> are okay to slaughter, I guess. <laughs> Witchcraft is actually criminal. We'll see if we might reform that, change that. Clerical function. Recruitment. So members of the clergy can serve as commanders or champions. The Vidalist clergy has actually more prowess. So um, we are warriors for our faith. That's something very typical for very small faiths going militant because they need to defend themselves. Everything is under threat. Our holy sites we don't control anymore, which means that Vidalism must have been a lot bigger but is now on the decline. Clerical marriage is allowed and clerical appointment is temporal and revocable. The rulers appoint their own realm priest or court chaplain, can be fired and replaced by a new appointee. But still, um, they're the temples of course and they are led by um, the halfway independent theocratic priests. These are all our holy sites. We can now have a short look here. So where are our holy sites? In Poakini. There's one holy site here. So it's controlled by Vitalism, but not in our territory. And we have Braslau, it's here, also not in our territory. We have Torun. 
that's in Chelmo. That's that's fought over, as you can see here, because Chelmo. has taken this. So Chelmo might be a possible war target. Let's go back to the holy sites. Um, one is here on Sarema. So up there in the, the Gulf of Finland in the Baltic. So that's something to maybe take before the Suonusko take that over. And then we have one in Rügen. The chiefdom of Rana is over that. They are Slovyanska Pravda. Faith. So that's another one to target if we want to expand our realm as a holy warrior. Holy sites are definitely um, an absolute target for us. So Chelmno is, is one of these examples. Chelmno itself has an okay military strength. They have nearly as much strength as we have. We need to do more bonding to um, more alliances to be able to challenge them. But they will also do that. And they have a lot more, a lot more allies to choose from. To, so we should be we should hurry up we should hurry up so what's the first thing we're gonna do a man gotta do what a man gotta do in this game marry <laughs> so uh we should really look into our personality type so we're a holy warrior so it's very unlikely that we would now that's the role play aspect of it right we want to find someone fitting <laughs> Cannot be of another faith. No, no, no. I mean, can be of another culture. That's probably okay. Um, but, nah. <laughs> and look at that. That's very controversial, right? What, what kind of personality do we have? We're a holy warrior, but we're still arbitrary, which decreases our piety a lot. <laughs> it's even sinful to us. What a split personality we have. On the upside, we are diligent and patient so it's interesting that this isn't a virtue we're a tough soldier though so who are we going to find we we want to find someone who's maybe also in holy a uh, holy warrior warrioress so to say um age difference should not be too high we're still relatively young so it's fine we want the same the same religion that's the main thing culture doesn't really account for much we have Betten here she's she's a giant <laughs> maybe that's impressive for us um, being a tough soldier what is she though she's a diplomat she's still very strong She's honest, cynical though. Um, I don't know if we would go for someone cynic. She's a rapacious atheist, so that's rather nothing for us. Um, to rather see, she's brave, deceitful. Uh, what is relevance? Let's see about the sum of all skills. Anella, she's scaly, wrathful, zealous. <laughs> <laughs> and fickle zealous would be something would be good for us wrathful is rather not i mean it's basically the opposite of us being patient um so we have gulbis here she's just just being virtuous to widowless so basically attractive for us we are mm, yeah, we are arbitrary, so this will be a no-no for us. So we will probably never uh, really hit it off together. Even though, yeah, she's also chaste, so that is really not a good idea. That explains the personal diplomacy here, too. Hmm. Saul is patient as well. 
That's good. Deceitful. Yeah, it's okay. Brave. Brave really impresses us probably as a warrior. Virtuous even. So Saul is definitely on the occasion. Let's let's see if, um, if we have positive opinions too. So arrogant, fickle and diligent. And quite some good values. We would really like to have someone with okay, at least, stewardship. So, Betten still still comes to mind, even though ah, she's cynical. That that wouldn't that wouldn't go well. Then we have the diligent Jevna. She's shy, which is okay. She's diligent, and she's arrogant. We are not humble though, so that doesn't really do much against us. But she has terrible values, right? Betten would be far better. Vesalikan, millions. Vengeful is okay. Fickle is okay. Lazy. I'm, I'm not sure. Absolutely unlearned. What kind of personality does she have? She's a coldest antagonist. Uh, that's maybe not someone you want to marry. She's lisping. Mm, would rather avoid that. Lisping is sadistic. The others are partly too old. We have Saul here. She's brave, deceitful, patient. We had her, right? Remember? We had her. So... I mean, she would be really the okay choice. She is good on average. She's a dishonorable adventurer. Oh, well. You cannot have it all, I guess. What about Tsugutsi? Humble, generous, and gregarious. A true joy. She's a gracious lackey. And she's a fortune builder. That would help us a lot. She's wandering. Maybe that's, that's our choice. A good wife. So, uh, ourselves and Tsuguse will get married. And we also want to have concubines. And that's where we are looking for the council. <laughs> A little bit, maybe. Because um, we can have women here, here, here. It's absolutely no problem for us. So, um, I think also as, as chancellors. Let's just look around the court. Who there is. There's millions. Our court here. She's also arbitrary. Humble and callous. Yeah. She's indifferent. She would be Albino, but that's okay. Then we have Mela here. She's compassionate, lazy, and vengeful. I assume we would also take her as a concubine, and then we have one spot open if, if we fancy someone, so to say. We don't have the highest income. We'll see if we can change that. Then we have our Player heir, our half brother, and marshal, chieftain Goronius of Pomesania. We should definitely go into an alliance with him. We can create the Duchy of Missouria here. That is definitely worth thinking about, but we don't have the money yet. We should hire a court physician, definitely. Let's see who is uh, good for that. Or maybe we can wait a tad and see if our wife would do that. We're also not endorsed by our um, leader of the faith, Vai Dile. So we should, yeah, we should try to sway him most probably, but not yet. Let's wait until we've married. Aye, it's a good sir. Gladly accept your hand in marriage. May Dievas grant us long life and many children, my impressive husband. And she likes us out of the box, so to say. There's uh, less cultural acceptance, but it's okay. It's okay. 
So excellent, excellent. This also means that we will first start. Yeah, let's look at the spy master. Spy master kind of likes us, but he's the first one to sway usually. And then we'll have to take care of our, of our Vaidilier. And then all the others. But yeah, you want your wife on your side. You want your spy master on your side. And you definitely also want to have your religious leader on your side. She could help us in many ways. But what she's currently helping is... That would give us two, four, five, six, seven assist points. So it's far better than choosing only one thing. And we don't have a real big weakness except stewardship. And she's okay at stewardship, so yeah. We'll just take that. We can see if anything changes, if we get help here. And you can see if we get another holding, we might change to that. So, Miller's here, and then we have the others, where we also want some alliances. So now that we get a wife, let's see, let's see about the court jobs, right? So we, we definitely need a court physician, there's absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Our wife is not good at it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Nomidas, our champion. A surprisingly high learning and no intrigue. Hmm. Yeah, he can do that. I mean, he might die, but you never know. Um, the other thing that we could do is get a court tutor, but we'll only take a court tutor when we have a kid already. And there's a couple of other things, but I think we'll rather have the money. Let's see about the decisions that we can do. Uh, we can only undo quite a couple of things, like call on call for a hunt, go on a pilgrimage, but it will cost us minimum 50. <coughs> we can develop the capital, it will give us 40 stress. But yeah, we have no stress at the moment, so diligent planning will increase the development growth in our realm capital. That's really good if you're diligent. So, as we have no stress right now, let's plan the development. But diligent planning is paying off. Let's see also about our military. We need some good military. Um, yeah, we have some prestige here already. We have the Metzen Vartilla. It's archers that are good, like in winter and in the forests. So we want to get more of them and maybe create another one. Yeah, the Metzen Vartilla are like better than Bowman. What else could we go for? Let's see, so forest, tiger, jungle. What other lands do we have here? That's always the question before taking such a decision. So let's have a look at the terrain. We have forest here and plains here. So we have forest and plains, that's everything. Anyone good there in forest and plains? So these are in hills, desert, mountains, mountains. So pikemen are, yeah, maybe as a counter later, but then we have the light horsemen. They're good in plains, bad in hills, mountains, desert, mountains, wetlands. We don't have these types where we are, so they would be good in plains, definitely, but not good in winter. Then we have the light footmen. They're good in forest, in taiga, in jungle. So I think maybe one, one regiment of light horsemen would be great. 
And then we'll wait a bit and maybe, maybe, maybe we should attack Chieftain Stefan of Chelno. Um, what would we want? Um, there is, as we've already seen, where is it? We have one of our holy places here. Let's go back to Widalism. Yeah, here, here, in Chelmno themselves. So the question is what we're going to do about that. It's Stefan, and I mean, once we have the alliance with our half brother, we might just attack him and get Chelmno. That would be a big win for us, and we're a holy warrior, so it would be absolutely our thing to do it like that let's see we have an alliance formed with Goronas of Pomesania and did everything else go as we wanted it yes even our <laughs> she's intimidated and she kind of likes us now but we're arbitrary which stops us a lot which stops us a lot we're also a holy warrior we want to uh, we want to have a war against the enemies of Vidalism, and of course, if you have a different faith than Vidalism, and have the holy places of Vidalism, then you're about basically a target of us. So, <laughs> ready, right. So now that we have the Alliance, we should try to get Chelmno under our control. Early on, as long as he doesn't have an ally. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Wait, can we not call in allies? Not indoors, so we can create the duchy. Maybe we'll have to wait a tad until the Alliance becomes active. Or did he decline and I didn't just... I believe we have an alliance, right? Okay. Chieftain Stepan. <sighs> alliance or non-alliance? We want Chelno now. So let's declare war. Marching in. We have an excellent commander. And first we want to have a battle against against them either in open field. Yeah, I mean they're going around here, so I think we should try to get it. Ah, they're going back. If we can get a fight in our own territory, that should be great. Well, we've got focused recruitment, thanks to our wife. And they're running away. Where are they going? They're going in here. Yes, yeah, forest. Oh, now we have plunderers here even coming. Can you not? The Raiders of Truso. Yeah, they're coming in, they're coming in. We want to siege this for real. So they're taking their stuff. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But we will stay here and we have a really good leader. So let's just hope. They will try to attack here as well. Yeah. They have a certain advantage too, because this is not really a well defended tribe. Chieftain Kugis, our spy master, is in there. Mm. 
Oh, it's not our personal thing, which is great. I'll hurry up a little bit and maybe we'll be able to do this. Uh, I think Sol would serve you as a concubine. Will you let her into your bed? What? We get offered someone. Who is she? A godless lackey, brilliant strategist, unyielding defender. She's generous, arrogant, and cynical. Not very intriguing. Uh, the chieftain. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. It's fine. We'll we'll accept it. So there's already some bonding going on between us and. Yeah, Yat Yatwagi, our neighbors. We've got this. And now, go, 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 go. Ah, they're going away. It's a little bit critical. We have a decisive advantage because we have the better commander. Higher quality, more men at arms. Let's now see how we can do that. And we won! We won! Ha <laughs> ha! Wonderful. The Prussian conquest of the chiefdom of Chalno is over. Chieftain Stefan, you have given us back our holy place. To the loathsome chieftain Bajoras, may your years be short and miserable. <laughs> You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Now we can disband everything. And we should be good. We should look into a prison. We have a prisoner, Dorota. Who is she? Can we let her... We'll, we can let her go. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely... I mean, we're a holy warrior, so how will we let her go with a conversion? She's not... I mean, she would be probably be a good... a good physician, but... Yeah, it's, it's too real. We don't want to mess this up right now. We are above the domain limit now. Which means we'll go to the council and say, Hey, can you help us manage the domain to go see? And now we're a lot better. We're not endorsed still with low county control in Chemno. Chemno. So let's send our good Goronas over increase control so first goal control um, something of our faith we've made that and Chalno already was vitalist so it's it's basically a, a win-win situation for us so that is now under our control that is something we could claim but we have the holy site of Turun when controlled by Vidalism, the following effects apply. All Vidalists get Marshal per level of devotion plus 1 and Knight effectiveness plus 20%. That is just a very, very good thing to have. Now, um, we could have a look at the other sites. Are they also within reach? That could be a next target for our Holy Warrior, the Holy Site of Rügen. Rügen is controlled by Chieftain Aldrich of Rana. If we would attack him, he wouldn't have many people to help him. So that would definitely be something to get under our control very early on. We need to look around. There's a couple of people here, Slovanskian, and this would be hard to defend. So. Rather look into the other 
We have Braslau, is that under control by someone with the list? Shifton, yeah. Good, good. What else do we have here? This, Poikaini. Shifton, Big Shell, he's also with the list. Then we've got also this thing here. Hiyuma. All video lists would get stewardship and close family opinion if we could capture this. It's part of Livonia. This is a chieftain. It doesn't really have a lot, but Livonia has probably a lot more. That's the ruler. And yeah, that's too much military strength at the moment. So if we wanted to do something else quickly, we should go over there, but yeah, maybe we'll wait just a little bit until we have more around here. On the other hand, they are weak now. They are weak now. Look at that. The Chieftain of Rana has nearly the same heraldry that as we have here well that's at least in this county so we'll risk it and instantly go and conquer now we have to look again is it rana or is it kissinia um, look here again it's the holy site of rugen <laughs> would decrease our invocation cost and retreat losses Mm hmm let's have a look um Ruga. here we have it in the chiefdom of rana so we would have to go for the chiefdom of rana here yeah but we cannot declare war because we don't have we don't have enough prestige the question is can we go for a Holy War? Not really. We lack the ability to do so, apparently. So we'll have to wait until we're a little bit more prestigious. Kugis was swayed. Ah, that's our spy master. What about him? He's a powerful vessel. He expects to remain on the council. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We'll let you there. It's absolutely no problem. So we're getting in there. Let's see. So once this is on, we will have a little bit of prestige gain. But we have undisciplined recruits. Today I am observing Chieftain Kugis, as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. It's our spy master. Ah yeah, he's not just not good at that. I look on as his struggles to gain control of the situation clearly pushed to his limits. While it's never easy to train your soldiers, he seriously needs to do better than this. Yeah, Kugis. Um, you're a very powerful vassal. Mm. We could cheer him up. Get a friendship going. Mm. Teach him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're a martial man, so... Teach him what I know about command. He could accept or he could refuse to listen. So it's also a risk. He's our spy master. Maybe, <laughs> maybe let's not go for a risk. Cheer him up after the training's over. That certainly helps us even more. Ah, the concubine's soul is bearing my child. <laughs> we we just got her as a concubine. She looks very. I cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. Uh, let's see if it will be a babe. Is that a prediction or what is it? Uh, we're kind of, yeah, now, now we get some prestige. And we definitely also need some prestige. For what do we need some prestige? Also for building things because we're a tribe. So um, we'll definitely need some prestige.
So one of the first buildings we want to go on are prestige buildings. And money. Money always helps. So what could we help with our prestige? Um, we could also raid others. Uh, of course, we'll not raid fellow widowlists, but we could go over here and raid around if we want so. Raid, uh, raise all those raiders. And they're complete right now, so it's fine. in and we'll see if we can go over there there's three hidden here there's nothing here that has been looted that has also been looted that's been looted that's been looted that's been looted the tribe of Dobrishin hasn't been looted I mean okay if we get some money out of this that would be good, but really what we seek is prestige. Can we not? Ah, yeah, we have. Um, I think we have a truce. So we'll go over here and raid here if that's possible. Yeah, indeed. So we're raiding Plock. And we have a son now, a newborn son, Prusas, he's called. Yeah, that, that's a fitting name for, for someone of Prussia. Prusas Wilkes of House Wilkes. Fidelity without malice. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. And uh, we don't know how he will become, but at first... We want to take care of, of him ourselves. Make him a proud warrior or whatever he wants to become. Whatever is, um, whatever is his nature. Something else. There's a tribe here. Can we? Uh, yeah, there's three here. Okay. I think we can. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Now there's raiders all over here. Let's return. Let us return. They're trying to stop us. Not a good idea. Want some prestige out of that. Oh my goodness, they're coming in. They're plundering us everywhere. Oh, oh, oh God. What are you doing? Oh, they're plundering our lands. Are these guys as well? Maybe not that prudent to plunder. Oh my goodness, now we have really, really bad income. But we got some prestige at least. Didn't lose some. Let's see if we can catch these guys. Should be able to. We have a big advantage and hopefully we can defeat them. It seems like we can. We have a high level of devotion now. And... The main thing that we needed... Oh, look at that! We captured 68 loot from the... Ah. <laughs> Talk about counter loot! Uh, that's fantastic! So, what we'll do now is... yeah, uh, We need to make this a little bit safer, apparently. Maybe a better fort level. Yeah, the market would be great, but uh, it's definitely clear that we need some palisades here. Here we go. Limited protection, but it's good against these raids. We will need to protect ourselves with uh, what we have. Can we disband? So we're already recovering a bit, and we have learned a little bit. Well, the question is, um, we will probably next time lead the army ourselves. So we could never back down. Friendly fatal casualties could go down 20%, advantage plus 5. Yeah, that's really good, um, as long as we're still fighting so much. 
Now, on the other hand, spouse opinion and skills from spouse counselor tasks. Yeah, let's go for loyalty and respect right now. We are, we still have uh, this army commander. It's fine. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but we got a lot out of this. So it's also fine in a way. We can ra ransom high chieftess Barbara. Okay, of Mazovia. How did she get here? <laughs> Oh, we plundered, probably because of that. Yeah, they will accept that. Let's do that. It's it's only fair. It's only fair. We're not. We don't want anyone to die in a, inside our prison. It's all fun and games. All fun and games. Uh, there's something here. Mm, they're trying to. I mean, if we could catch them, right? But I think they're faster. The army of Selni is not the army of Yatvagi, though. So how about we raise all as... Uh, not at all. Let's, let's just raise the armies and then hunt these raiders down, if that's possible. Is that something? No, we can't do that because we are not in an alliance with them. Okay. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's also the Yatvagi troops that are coming now to free them. So it's okay. A potential next friend. The challenge. I'm sparring with one of my soldiers. Sweat beading on my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looking over my shoulders, but my brother. Chieftain Goronas, who waves at me. I talk, walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while. Trading tricks and advice just as I am about to leave for another round. Goronas face lights up and he suggests we practice together. Yeah, we should do that. We should do that. He's a bold gentleman. He's the best. The upper hand. The sounds of sword clashing against spare echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see the high chafter and fighting his brother. The crowd applauds as I lunge, and their admiration makes me bold. Instead of pulling back, I attempt a new technique I've been practicing. The movements flow through me and into my sword as if we were one. Chieftain Goronas is defenseless before me. Let's end it here. Well fought, brother. He liked that. We liked that. It's wonderful. Aha, I could try to convince Chieftain Kugis more. I can include a compliment. Hmm. Relentless courage. Is he courageous? He's callous to that something. Trusting, patient. Clear rationality. That could also forgiving nature, not really. Well, let's praise his clear rationality. Let's see if that works. Out. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think that we might both benefit from increased communication. Oh, for sure, for sure. For sure. Well, let us see what we can do. Uh, we now have a lot of prestige too, so... We can look again if this Rana guy is still so defenseless. 942, we have 1440, we have some money, he has some money. It might cost us a raid on our lands, but I think it's time to try to capture this as well. We're a holy warrior after all. Of this And this is our mission. That's our army. Charge! Our chieftain is also pregnant. Very nice. We're sailing over to Rana to take that on. To take them on. 
Ah, uh, we have a huge disadvantage, but we have more champions. And we have more... More regiments, too. And we also have more levies. And we have a holy warrior on our side. Strike them down! We've captured a valuable hostage. Chieftain Aldrich's son and heir Marek. Nice. Nice. Is he wounded now? No, he isn't wounded. The treacherous ravener. We should try to take this now from them. They will surely attack to free their son. And this might be rest for the weary, sweaty, tired and in need of food. A long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Shrugging, I declare, that is where we will make our camp tonight. The sun's setting, and with every step towards the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, soldiers are whispering about ghosts. Ah, uh, yeah, but we, we need... I mean, an adventure would be good for us. But we are in times of war. Let them rest. Let's raise our tents outside. It's time to rest. So we have an even better advantage now. We're very close to taking this. That would be fantastic. And maybe we'll give that to our half-brother. Wonderful. Prussian conquest of the chiefdom of Rana. Let's enforce our demands. To the contemptuous high, Chieftain Bajoras, my wisdom ever elude you. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. So be it. We'll disband all armies, and we have Rugen now. The question is, what to do with Rugen? It has the wrong faith so far. The wrong culture. So, um... We should definitely think about giving that to someone else. And who could take this? Uh, our brother, half brother though, Garonas of Pomosania, maybe. Maybe we should grant him that title. The chiefdom of Rugen. I mean, we like him, kind of. He likes us, definitely. We're siblings. It would make him more powerful, but it would also give him some problems that he would be occupied with, right? <laughs> and then he would have his two domains, and we're kind of connected to him. We, we want him on, on our good side. So, we'll give him that thing. He gets the Chiefdom of Rigan. He's also a, a true vigilist. And uh, now, this is also part of Prussia. Not that we want to keep it forever, but we want it to keep uh, the holy site under control. So, let's see what we get this time. Embarkation cost goes down and retreat losses go down. Now all that we all that we still need is this holy site, the holy site of Hiyuma. Twenty-four counties follow this faith. That's not much. Let's see what we can do. We have few champions. Yeah, that's there's something about that. We also have, should have prisoners right now. Oh no, we don't have prisoners anymore. Oh that's also okay. We have a kid right now, so we should definitely look into... Uh, yeah, once once our kid gets schooled, we'll go and have a court tutor, even though we only have quite poor choices. But it's fine. It's fine. Glory is widely known. Normidas is no longer our court. What happened to him? He died from internal injury. Oh my goodness me. Oh. Our 
poor knight. Yeah, maybe it's time to go for Vaidile Ulinix of Prussia. He's also not a champion or something, so... First he approves of that, and uh, yeah, he's a powerful agent in schemes against us. So, after we have swayed Kogis, we may sway him as we, we can already sway him. We should do that. I mean, our wife likes us anyways, because we're such a knight. But this guy also um, can be helpful, and he's an insightful thinker, so uh, he's also shy and content, so he has low intrigue. He should, if we can make this man our friend, it will be a, definitely a, a good friend. A king for a bard, I'm in a tent at the encampment, bordering the high chiefdom of Samogetia, tasked with gorging the tensions between our realms. Suddenly, a man enters a tent. Let's see, Samogetia. And that's our neighbors. Demanding to see the new commander, instinctively I step forward. So you're the new commander, well, very well, pick a challenge. The loser pays for the other camp's drinks tonight, says Koributas. Commander of the foreign encampment, oblivious to the fact that I am Bajoras and not a mere military leader. Hmm. Bring forth your nastiest poem about each other's leeches? What the heck? <laughs> no, uh, let's settle with a friendly match on guard with the enemy commander. That would be him. Commander Koributas. He's pretty good blade master. Why wait until the tavern? Let us compete by drinking ale. Hmm. What will we do? You fool! Nah, I mean, we want them to be on our good side. That is not good because uh, it's just, it's a learning challenge. We're really not good at learning, right? I mean, we are kind of good at learning. How good is he? Not as good. At, it's actually the best choice. I mean, he seems to be a simple man. We could fool him, maybe. Yeah, bring forth the nastiest uh, poem about each other's lieges. What? Writing ills of the other side's ruler, then let read them out loud to a cheerful crowd. Would we do something like this? We're not that diplomatically super good to maybe see through it. And personal diplomacy would be okay for that. Bring forth the nastiest poem about each other's liege. You make a mockery of wellness. Oh god. <laughs> At least we gained some we gained some prestige. With a tired yet blissful smile, Tsugutsu presents me with a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Klukis. Yeah, he, he might become Klukis. Why not? Klukis is a good name. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. And of course I'll also educate you. What about our first book? He is in prison? Why the hell is he in prison? What? Ah. Uh, hello there? Oh my goodness, that must have been with the plunderings. Jalvan of Smallland. Oh goodness me. Ah. We might we might have to attack him, let's see. Where is he? Ah, he's strong, but we he has our son. My goodness me. If we attack this man. Uh we would have to conquer a county.
The Chiefdom of Murray, probably. Where is where is his county capital? It's here. We should just probably go over and try to plunder back. That might be a good point. Why is he not selling us our our son back? My goodness me. Um, note we have so much piety because every kid that we get gives us 250 piety. Oh, here we go. To the worthless High Chieftain Bajorus, I am willing to release Prusus Wilkes from my care, but freedom does not come for free. Consider my offer. Okay, we'll get him right now. That's worth it. But we have to do something. We have to do. Once we have a little bit of a war chest again, we will definitely uh, raid these guys. So that guy here. That will be our enemy. He stole a little kid. That's really not good. Uh, so if we have 10 or 20, we might go raid again. And that would also be a really good thing. So. Oh my goodness. Are you really, really plundering with the neighbors? Is that really what you do? You should you should not go attack other video lists. Oh gods, Galindia. I mean it's our spy master. He's not in the best of positions. Doesn't seem to be the most strategically prudent man. About our military, our military is well well fit. Uh, we should maybe add light horsemen to it or we could create another regiment maybe to spread it out more we could add some light footmen or on the other hand we could add pikemen mm, to be better in hills desert mountains and mountains and have no disadvantages light footmen cost a lot less they're good in forest tiger and jungle Forest and Tiger would be the thing. Yeah, why not? Why not give us uh, some more of these? To have a good mix. <laughs> what a monthly maintenance we have. Oh, Tsugutsa also has architectural expertise now. My wife is so good, her administrative abilities have increased. Yeah, she's she's a fortune builder, and we will build a fortune together. Ha! Huh, our income is low. Yeah, when we have like twenty, we will likely go here and raid. A misunderstanding. It seems that my diplomatic overtures toward Linux. Of course, the major misunderstanding. I've received a letter which makes it clear that he thinks I've been pursuing a different goal entirely. I am your vital for dear sake. I do not read, need to read on to get to the point. This is all the big understanding, misunderstanding. Oh no. <laughs> he hates us now. Uh, he's still irritated at me. Okay. And we cannot sway him for that. Uh, we do not have... We do not have a gift. Uh, oh, God, no. And he's also a court physician. Now we need to replace him with someone who can actually do something. Mm. Once we have someone. All right. Um... Let's also have a look at our military and especially our champions. Mm. Arellis is our steward and champion. Maybe he should not fight. I mean, he has two prowess. That's maybe not great. We need at least five prowess to fight, I guess. Do we have any guests at our court? I don't think so. 
Let us see. Mm. Oh yeah, we have a guest here. One guest, Gelenis. Gelenis, she's an eager reveler and a spy. Nah, don't, don't, don't. We need a little bit of money, and then we'll go back to grading. A brewing troublemaker. While I've come to expect mischief from my son and heir Prusus, his creativity keeps me on my toes. When it's not a prank, it's a brawl, a disgruntled tutor, or grazed knees from an adventure gun raw. Never a dull moment with his little rowdy. Comes just after his father. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so is rowdy, maybe that's the first thing, and... Shows these signs, we'll give him a martial education. And with this, um, starting the education, we also want a court tutor. And who could teach him better than our champion, but uh, doesn't like us that much? Mm, compassionate, lazy, vengeful, I'm not sure. Paranoid, craven, cynical. I mean, from his character, surely no. Our woman. She's generous, arrogant, and cynical. Ah. Okay, we'll take. Yeah, Venge for what? We'll take Mila for that. Okay. She'll be our court tutor. It'll cost us something, but it's surely worth it. Uh, we're not endorsed by our Vadile. Yes, uh, we have few champions. Yes, we can declare a lot of wars. Do we have someone else who could do this? Not really. Oh. We don't like him. He's even a sinful one. Still irritated. We have to try again. My goodness me. It's far away, maybe, yeah, I mean, what could happen is, that would stop us from this. We, d we don't have anything to defend. So let's first see if there's easy fruit to pick. Um, our army is ready. I think we are fully, ah, let's wait another month. An unworthy challenge. As at first I thought a simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. However, the battle proved more hard for than I expected, and it gradually became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. Uh, we could give him a lecture on honor. I could strike him down. Or we could hire him. Yeah, let's, let's hire him. What a good... Ah, what, what prowess he has. I could use more people like you. He's our champion now. What a great champion we have. Kubizish Kulmas. 18 prowess. What a man that is. Just the one we needed. Fate and the the Holy Oak, Dievas, has sent you to us. So the question is now. Next month, will we have all the light footmen? Mm, nearly. That's enough. Let's raise all of these guys as raiders. Oh, we can even unlock a new perk for the martial lifestyle. Never back down. Friendly fatal casualties go down by 20%. Advantage of plus 5. That will help us a lot. So that's here. We're leading this ourselves. Hmm. I mean, we really have... We really have... He only has 1,400. Yeah, we want this back. It's time for the expedition. It's time for that. Uh, ah, what? What do you want to do? Really? I mean, we could go. Can we not? Can we not embark? Ah, we have no money to embark. Oh, the heck. Uh, then we need to raid something else. What's there? There's Plock. There is... Wow. This tribe is not... Is not uh, looted yet. 
We'll go back there and see if we can get something going. There's three hidden in here. Ah, three gold. Give me your three gold. Cha-ching. Fire and blood. The settlement of Sakroshim, an important stronghold in Greater Sakroshim, has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of land, and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of High Chieftain Borislav. Choose from the troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direction. Bounteous plunder? 30 loot? Mm, oh, we've taken enough already. No, we need money. We bring me bounteous plunder. We need the money. Mm, is there more? There's this place. The tribe of Chersk. Here's the tribe of Gosritz Gostinin. We go over there. This will be raided for like a year. But we're going here now. And we want to take everything we can. We have taken much. Good. There's something going on here, but we we don't want to fight if it doesn't if we don't need to. Um yeah, that is raided. Oh, that tribe here. Polania's tribe. Polania. The rich people of Polania need to be plundered, my friends. We might suffer a bit. They might attack us. But surely we'll have the upper hand. Ooh. Can we go away from this still? No, not really. Okay, then let's just wait it out. We can take them on! High Chieftain Siobowit of Polania will be struck down by us. Ah. What a glorious fight that led to us getting a lot of prestige and piety. Ah, it was a... it was an equal fight, more than anything. Uh, let's see, we can also go to the tribe of Nakto. Nakto. That has also not been plundered. Uh, yeah, and then it's time to go home again, I think, before anyone plunders us. Cha-ching. So we've we've uh, gotten more. Let's see. There's e if there's even more here. No. Okay. We'll go back. It's time to go back to our lands and take home what we've gained. Sixty-six gold and sixty-six prestige. That's fantastic. Now we should dis disband. Can we disband the army? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So, Pokarwis. I think we're still building this here, yeah? We're still building this. Control's gone down. That's okay. That's okay. We'll wait a little bit until we've recovered and then we'll see to raid again. With this new champion, all the better. Saul is also pregnant. Ah, uh, his. I think he's not that irritated anymore, Ooh, but it will be a long time before he's not irritated again anymore. When will we be complete? We're already complete again. Um, we could certainly hire more light horsemen or more light footmen. Maybe one regiment of light footmen. They're relatively cheap. And that counts for a lot. 
Yeah, we we will and want to grow stronger. It's a good sis, pregnant again. Wonderful. Now, um we might look into more buildings again once this is finished. Oh, we're training a war horse. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a mare, kept away from all others. She throws her head and stomps her hooves, displaying her powerful hidden quarters and well-arched neck. This creature has the best con of confirmations and the worst of tempers. I've never seen such a war horse before, but the stable master insists that she's impossible to train. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not the one to back away from a challenge. The horse pins her ears back as I approach her disregard for me crystal clear. This first meeting is important to earn her trust and respect, and I need to decide how to go about it. Um, this would be intrigue. Bring forth the apples. This will be Diplomacy, and this will be Prowess. We're best at Prowess. Do we have a bold personality? Mm, kind of, kind of. A steady hand is required to tame this beast. It's a mighty feeling. The powerful fo horse follows my every whim. Now that I've earned her trust, she seems almost fond of me. I will keep her as my personal war horse. character has a well-trained war horse that follows their every command. Yeah, we get prowess and prestige. Breaking fast with a friend. I'm on my way to the temple one morning when I run into High Chieftain Sigurdsson who's carrying a small bag. Glancing around, she conspirationally opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. It's such a beautiful day. Come join me outside for a morning picnic, she says. As I start to protesting that I'm on my way to the temple, Sigurdsson interrupts me. Dearest will still be there later, but these candid figs won't. We're a holy warrior, but we might follow our nature. Hmm. Hmm. we diligent. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for our wife, we're doing that. We have really... We have really not been as good to her as we should. So we also kind of feel guilty being diligent, so... The true sin would be letting this opportunity pass to form a friendship with our wife, because that also means diligence for us. And we're stressed still, and we should do something about it. The war horse! Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse about what to call her. Um, mythology is full of awe-inspiring horse names. And what uh, could we call her? Lam Ray, after the horse of King Arthur. I'm not sure that the Christian icon Valius of Achilles. Another name we could make her. Maybe a horse just like a horse. Horse should be named as the base creature that it is. Maybe, maybe Charger. That sounds good. What should we learn now? Household guard. Number of knights increased by four. That will be great in the long run. Let's see if there's anything... Are you plundered still? <laughs> no, they just have unused farmlands. Yeah, and we don't want to attack our neighbors here. These are plundered. All of them are plundered. How's this doing? Now, yeah, half brother is doing what he can there. Um, we should maybe try to convert the faith there, right? I mean, it will, it will be 16 years, but if you don't start, you you don't complete. Around. Have we now finished our building? Still not. Still not. 
three months left. It's fine. It's fine. How's our son doing? Player air. He's gaining prowess. It's not that diplomatic. But hey, doesn't really matter. Um, has a good guardian, us. And that's his. Oh, look, he's also rowdy. Might become even stronger. Hmm. Chieftain, her grub grubrious friendship. Of yet vagi. While his numerous attempts to curry my favor had not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Chieftain Pergrubius' sudden interest in me. I cannot shake the feeling that the man's intentions are not pure. Um, but he still has a certain charm. Nah, it's stressful. Why can he not leave me in peace? That would be not very extreme because we still want to have an alliance, but it stresses us out if he goes overboard. My daughter, praise Saul. Saul has given birth to a perfect little daughter, Jelenis. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. Wonderful. The little one. All the piety, right? Uh, if you would like to reform the faith, We need three Vitalism Holy Sites. We have two. And... We're missing some piety. But it's certainly not out of the question that we could do this. That we could do this. The next site is this site. This guy is guarding it. He's a good leader, but he hasn't got much military strength. We have way more soldiers than he has. And we would have to go for Saramar. Because that's where the Vidalist site is. In there. And that will be our new mission. For our new episode. The branches of the oak. We must gain them back. And then spread widowism. Yeah. May, may the trees be our shelter. May Dievas protect us. And uh, thank you for watching. And happy gaming to you. Have a great time until next time. We are the pagans of Prussia. Let's see each other again soon. Have a great time until then.